Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the second lecture in partial differential equations. So, in this video lecture, our first main objective will be to study the classification of PDEs. So, classification of partial differential equations. So, the first category here will be a what is a linear equation? So when do we call a partial differential equation as a linear equation? So a first order equation, fine, which is of the form that is if a equation is of first order that is f of let it be x, y, z and p and q equals to zero. So this kind of equation is known as linear if it is linear in P, Q and Z. And when I say it is linear in P, Q and Z, what do I mean? I am I mean to say that it is of the form that is it is of the form any capital P which is a function of X and Y. This should be multiplied with P. Then any function capital Q which is again a function of X and Y multiply with small Q and which is further equal to R X of Y again into Z plus S again which is a function of X and Y. Y. So any equation which is of this form is said to be a linear equation. Now let me consider an example for you. So if I say y x square into p plus x y square into q is equals to x y z plus x square y square. So is it a linear equation? Yes, it is a linear equation. Why? Because this is my p of x y multiply with p and this is q of xy multiplied with q and similarly this is my r of xy which is multiplied with z and this is finally my s of xy so yes this is a linear equation another example here can be p plus q is equal to z plus xy correct here p of xy q of xy r of xy all those are equal to 1 so p of xy is equals to q of xy is equals to r of xy which is nothing but a 1 and hence yes it is also a linear equation now moving on to the second category that is a semi linear equation so when do we call a equation as a semi linear equation so again we will be considering a first order differential equation fine so first order partial differential equation again that is f of x y z p and q equals to 0 and this will be said to be semi linear if it is of the form if it is of the form p is a function of x and y this should be multiplied with p again q function of x and y multiply with q which is equal to r is a function of x y and z so any equation which is of this form is known as a semi linear equation or if i say that this is a equation which is linear in p and q right so this is a equation linear in p and q whereas in case of linear equation it was linear in p q and z here it is only uh, linear in p and q fine so it is linear in p and q fine with this now let me consider few examples in order to make this definition more clear for example if we have x y p plus x square y into q is equals to x square y square z square so you can clearly observe that my p of x y here is x into y correct multiplied with p and q of x y here is x square y which is multiplied with q and r of x y z is nothing but x square y square z square correct so this is a differential equation partial differential equation and uh, again it is of first order and this is a semi linear partial differential equation so you can verify this is a first order semi linear partial differential equation now moving on to the third category this was my second semi linear equation and the third one come out to be quasi linear equation so quasi linear equations so again a first order partial differential equation again which is f of x y z p and q is equals to 0 okay this is known as quasi linear fine if it is linear in p and q right 
if it is linear in p and q and it is of the form fine and what 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 should be the form the form should be p here should be a function of x y and z fine this should be multiplied with small p again capital q should be a function of x y and z multiplied with small q which is equal to capital r which is a function of x y and z now let me consider an example in order to make you this definition more clear so let me consider this example x square z into p plus y square z into uh, q is equals to x into y so can i say that this is a quasi linear partial differential equation yes i can say why because my function of x y and z here is x square y fine and this is multiplied with q uh, sorry p and then capital q of x y z here is y square z which is multiplied with q and yes this is my function of x y and z correct so yes this is a first order quasi linear equation quasi linear equation fine with this and one more example which you can verify after this lecture that is another example for you people to just verify that is x square minus y z into p plus y square minus z x into q is equals to z square minus x y so you can easily verify that this is again an example of a first order quasi linear partial differential equation and the fourth category that is a non linear non linear partial differential equation so when do we call a partial differential equation to be non linear so it is very uh, simple i can say that any first order partial differential equation that is a f of x y z p comma q is equals to 0 this is said to be a non linear differential equation so when do we say it when it does not come under the above three categories so any equation which doesn't come under the above three types right so that it type is known as a non linear differential equation partial differential equation for example you can easily see that if i take a example of p square plus q square is equals to 1 fine if i say p into q equals to z uh, right and even if i say x square into p square plus y square into q square right is equals to z square so all are these example of a these are the examples of non linear partial differential equations partial differential equations so i hope the four categories that is a classification of partial differential equation is clear to you people now let us move to another very important aspect of partial differential equation so derivation of a partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary constants arbitrary constants for this i consider an equation capital f which is a function of x y z comma a comma b is equals to 0 where my small a and b are constants fine now i consider z be any function so let z be regarded as a function of two independent variables and what are those independent variables that is my x and y fine with this now if i differentiate if i differentiate this my first equation if i differentiate one with respect to x and y partially so you need you know this is a function of more than one variable so you can only differentiate it with respect to x first and then with y so you have to differentiate partially fine on differentiating the equation one partially with respect to x so it will come out to be del f by del x into del x by del x that is 1 plus del f by del y and when you differentiate del y by del x it will be 0 fine and the third part will be del f by del z into del z by del x again when you differentiate further more terms these are constant so the derivative will be 0 so this is del f by del x and as i have used this notation in a previous video lecture so i will be writing it as p times del f by del z equals to 0 similarly when you differentiate it with respect to y what do you get we get del f by del y 
plus q times del f by del z equals to 0. Now once we are done with this then we can eliminate the two constants a and b and we will get a required partial differential equation which is of the form that is f which is a function of x y z comma p comma q equals to 0. Now let us take an example to understand this. So the example is if you have an equation z is equals to a x plus y and we want to form a partial differential equation corresponding to this. So the first thing will be because here a is a constant fine. So my first step should be partially differentiate with respect to x and then partially differentiate it with respect to y. So once you partially differentiate it with respect to x so this will be curl z by curl x equals to a and if you partially differentiate it with respect to y it will come out to be 1. Now can I write z is equals to what is the value of a curl z by curl x right into x and what is y you can treat y as it is. So you have eliminated this arbitrary constant and you have substituted the value to be curl z by curl x. So this is one of the required differential equation. You can easily see that this is one of the desired partial differential equation but yes you can even claim that this is was also a partial differential equation since it does not contain any arbitrary constant thus we can say that thus we get two partial differential equations for the above equation now let me consider one another situation so this was the one of the situation when the number of arbitrary constant is less than the number of independent variables so now let me write it down so this was the case when the number of arbitrary constant and what were the arbitrary constants here that is only a right so the number of arbitrary constant were only one in this case right that is only one so when it is when the number of arbitrary constant is less than the number of independent variables fine so the number of independent variables were two so in that case it will always give rise to more than one pd so we always get more than one partial differential equation now we consider the second scenario so the second case is when the number of arbitrary constants is equal to the number of independent variables so what will happen in this case for example if i consider the equation a z plus b is equals to a square x plus y so the number of arbitrary constants are two which is nothing but a and b and uh, my independent variables are again two which is x and y so both of these are equal so let us see what kind of partial differential equation we will get so if you partially differentiate this equation with respect to x so you get curl z by curl x into a plus zero is equals to a square correct so can i say that curl z by curl x is equals to a fine with this similarly if you partially differentiate it with respect to y so this will be curl z by curl y is equals to 1 so can i say curl z by curl y is equals to 1 by a fine and now just multiply these two equations curl z by curl x into curl z by curl y is equals to 1 so is this the required partial differential equation so what what I can say from here that if when the number of arbitrary constant is equal to the number of independent variable in this case we always get a unique partial differential equation. So we always get a unique partial differential equation in this case fine and the third the last case which is again very important the third case when the number of number of arbitrary constants so when the number of arbitrary constants they become greater than the number of independent variables so they become greater than the number of independent variables so what can we conclude from this case so let me consider the example for this first if z is a function which is ax plus by plus uh, let me call it as cxy fine now if you partially differentiate it with respect to x what do we get curl z by curl x equals to a right and curl z by curl y equals to b plus cx correct with this uh, here it should be plus cy sorry correct so you have got these two equations fine with this now again 
differentiate it with respect to x again so curl square z by curl x square so this is nothing but now zero similarly curl square z by curl y square this is also zero and if you partially differentiate it with respect to x and y so this will come out to be constant c fine so just differentiate it with respect to x so you get this fine with this now if i multiply my second equation with x so what do i get x times curl z by curl x is equals to a x plus c x y and if you multiply my third equation with y so this will be y times curl z by curl y is equals to b y plus c x y so you get these two equations now if i say just add them so this will be x times curl z by curl x plus y times curl z by curl y is equals to a x plus b y plus c x y plus c x y fine with this and a x plus b y plus c x y is nothing but my capital z so x into d del z by del x plus y times del z by del y is equals to z plus c x y and what is the value of c we have already calculated the value of c so this is nothing but this thing so can i write the value of constant here so let me write it again so this will be z plus right x into y and what was the value of c that is del square z by del x del y so this is the required partial differential equation fine with this so what is the result from here so when the number of arbitrary constants is greater than the number of independent variables so in that case then the elimination of arbitrary constants leads to a partial differential equation of order usually greater than 1 so you can easily see that on solving the example we have got a partial differential equation whose order was greater than 1 so the order in this case was 2 right so now you can go back you can revise these three cases along with the classification of partial differential equations and then you can solve out various examples concerning with the formulation of partial differential equations and in case if you face any difficulty you may please mention your doubts in the comment section and in the upcoming video lecture we will be considering a case how to formulate a partial differential equation by the elimination of arbitrary functions and i hope you have enjoyed this session for more such videos do subscribe to my youtube channel and do not forget to press the bell icon thank you very much